It's on Mark Collins' world. We're all just living in it. Big Deek News. Today, Steelers GM Omar Khan spoke with the media. And you know what he was there for. You know what was being brought up. The quarterback. So first, here's his take on Kenny Pickett. I mean, we have, we have, uh, I, I have full faith in, uh, in, in Kenny. Um, he's shown us some good things. And obviously there were some issues with the offense. And I'm excited about the impact that, that Arthur Smith's going to have on him. You know, and Arthur's very optimistic about Kenny. And, um, you know, I know they've communicated and, um, he said we'll, we'll have uh, some strong competition there, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Sounds convincing enough. KP8, QB1, case closed, nothing else to worry about, right? Nope, there's more. What about Mason Rudolph? Is it a preference to have Mason be a part of the plans? Yeah, I mean, we, we, uh, we, we've told them we want him to be a part of the process. So. And what about all those outside quarterbacks that we've been talking about for the last month? You trade for Justin Fields? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm not going to go into details about the conversations that we've had, but like I mentioned earlier, I, I, I can tell you that I, I have an obligation to look at every avenue um, that's out there to uh, to try to make us a better football team. How about Kirk Cousins and Russell Wilson? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else who's been rumored to sign. Yeah, same, same answer. <laughs> oh, there was discussions? What's that? There was discussions? I'm not going to get into oh, okay. any... any uh, uh, detailed conversations. This is why Omar is the con artist. This is how you do it. He handled this situation perfectly to a T. Answered every media question correctly. And if he's honest about those answers, it's just flat out right the smartest approach in handling whatever happens at quarterback this offseason. You got Kenny Pickett, who's the only quarterback on your roster right now. So, of course, you have faith in him. He's the guy that you drafted in the first round just a couple years back. And he's also right in saying that, yes, we have seen good things from Kenny, but also reiterated that competition is a must. The first option for that competition appears to be Mason. We said we wanted him back right as the season ended, and clearly that message hasn't changed at all. But like Omar said, you also got to keep your options open and check out every avenue to improve your team. And that's why I think with how Omar handled some of this, there's a little bit more urgency on Mason to make this decision because, bro, if we can't get a commitment from you soon, then we're going to have to move on. We just can't be sitting around waiting here because you know the Bears are going to want to trade Justin Fields sooner rather than later. And then the Broncos, you know they're cutting Russell Wilson within the next week or two. But I do think it's pretty obvious that the Steelers want Kenny versus Mason as the QB1 competition for 2024. Like, that's their first priority, not only based off what Omar just said here, but also the rhetoric coming from Tomlin and Rooney over the last month. So if that happens, I don't think we're bringing in another, like, big name or anything. It's probably just going to be a veteran third stringer on the cheap, or we'll draft someone in the fourth round or later, and rightfully so. But I think how Omar handled this was perfect because he's basically saying we're good with every option we have, and that keeps the leverage from all angles because we're saying, all right, we believe in Kenny, QB1. That can maybe keep the contract lower with Mason. But we're also very clear in saying we do want Mason back which keeps the trade value down for someone like Justin Fields or maybe some other quarterback we're trying to trade for. Omar Khan knows what he's doing. Like, this isn't his first rodeo. One more thing I wanted to note, though, before I sign off here. I thought it was very interesting how Omar responded to the Justin Fields question being brought up. He didn't say the conversations aren't happening. He just said, I'm not going to disclose any information or details about those conversations this is definitely going to be an interesting next week or two uh with whatever happens i still stand on i think the steelers priority is to bring back mason kenny mason quarterback competition and you guys know my opinion on that i think that would be a good move by the steelers but that's it for this edition of big deke news on a thursday Hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts on some of omar khan's comments about the quarterback position Stay chillin' and peace.